Hello guys, today's video is about zombie bears. Yes, bears are back guys, and they're stronger than ever using the new health to set. And it's just fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, let's quickly go through. Okay, so uh, skills guys, left and click, I've got corpse spiders, blazing spiders, partly for the mana regen, but to be honest, it's there to proc my uh, focus and restraint. Because focus restraint gives you that ginormous fucking damage boost. So it's a class one of these. And the bears, you get the uh, the buff there once it hits the target. Well, once we're in combat zone. Excellent. So I uh, use that. So I'm right click. This is the, the skill that procs you the next part of your uh, focus on restraint for the big damage burst. But it's basically zombie charger, zombie bears. Bears are back and they're great. They're hitting for a lot of damage. And you can see now we can spam it always forever. It's crazy actually. It's really good. So uh, yes, so bears are back, man. Fantastic. And uh, remember, there is ways to make them funnel out. A bit better as well, so you put your back to a wall, you can make them funnel out a channel the DPS even further, so it's quite an interesting way to play this uh, this class. Okay, so uh, on Decay we've got Wall of Death, Firewall. Why have I chosen Firewall? Firewall damage stacks, okay? Basically it stacks. So um, when you cast this multiple times, three times on the floor using Jaren Bracers, this damage stacks and it hits like an absolute truck because of Jaren Bracer. Jaren Bracer's Ward of Death damage can go up to 98%. And make sure you roll fire on this thing. And it makes you cast it so you can cast it up to three times. And um, it's just amazing. This this does so much damage. Pretty much, as soon as this is refreshed, spam that out. Okay? It will cook everything. This build is super, super tanky as well. You build, the whole point of this build is to pull basically loads of mobs and just wreck them. We'll go that in a minute though. Lovely. Okay, so Harvest Languish. We've got Languish on for the armor increasement and also the DPS increasement as well because uh, obviously the intelligence is gained as well. You want to be spamming this as much as possible. Increase your armor by 30% and reduce the movement speed of enemy harvest enemies by 80% for 5 seconds. It got changed a few patches ago and this is a really viable rune now. That 30% armor just makes you even tougher. It's fantastic. As usual, Spirit Walk Jaunt, 3 seconds of CC movement speed and breaker. Piranhas, Piranha Nado, um, just for grouping up the enemies then blowing the shit out with the bears and the firewall. You can change this if you want to, to Big Bad Voodoo. Um, you can use it to Big Bad Voodoo if you want, to Slam Dance or if you fancy. Um, you can do it that way as well, because you will have fetches in this build from this uh, Belt's Transcendence spell. And then you can change in the cube. Um, let's pop over here. In the cube, you can change the Furnace back over to Slam Up Kukri. Okay, so you can, if you if you really do love BBB, you can do it this way. But to be honest, without Furnace, you will be lacking, well, any elite damage at all. But in groups, BBV version can be pretty viable. Love it. I'll just quickly go through that as well. Okay, so uh, passes I am using. I am using Gruesome Feast. Every time we pick up a globe, it obviously gives us mana and health. But more importantly, it gives us 10% intelligence increasement. Stacks up to five times and just gives us incredible DPS. It's absolutely fantastic. So it's highly recommended. Uh, Spirit Vassal, highly recommended as well. This got changed in the last patch as well. It's now a 60 second cooldown now and heals you up to 50%. Ugh, awesome. Grave Injustice, an absolute must. You must have Grave Injustice on this. And, uh, yeah, it gives you cooldown reduction for every mob you kill within 20 yards. And remember, we're using uh, more pickup rates in gear, which I'll explain in a moment, which makes this even bigger. It's fantastic. Right, in this patch, this got changed. Um, Swamp Land Attunement now. You and your pets gain 122% physical, poison, fire, and cold resistance for every enemy within 20 yards. So the whole point about this build is you just pull an absolute fucking load of bros. We're talking like 100, 200 mobs. It depends on what the density of the rift is and stuff. And then just the more mobs around you, the stronger you get. It's, it's a great build, man. It's very, very cool. And you blow them up. Okay, and uh, on my amulet, you want to use confidence ritual or any of the current passives in the in the in the, uh, in the build. Uh, confidence ritual basically gives us twenty five percent more damage. It's a brand new passive that came with the patch. You do an additional twenty five percent additional damage to enemies within twenty yards. Fantastic! I've got this on my Hellfire amulet. Um, if you don't have any Hellfire amulet, you have to choose to take something off. Take off gruesome feast. That's the only thing you can take off because all these three here plus confidence rules are required. So uh, yeah, get health up, you get one of these current passives or confidence ritual, chuck it on. But like I said, if you need to re replace something, take off gruesome feast. Then just use spirit versus GI. So I'm going to them. Excellent. Okay, so that is the skills covered. Gear. Okay, first most and foremost, man, you want the scrimshaw spear. The scrimshaw spear will roll up to uh, reduce the mana cost of zombie charger by 40 to 50%. That's why we can spam these bears so well now. Look at this. 
That's crazy. How much does bear cost again? 150. So it costs them 100. Well, about 49 mana. Well, about 99 mana for me now. Uh, about 890 pool. So it's very, very good. Also, it can roll increase zombie charger damage up to 80%. 60 to 80%. I'm quite happy with this one at 78. It always rolls percent damage roll on vitality. Um, it's a great spear. Also, it's extremely easy to acquire. I required this so quickly because uh, when you. Um, oh, just a quick top of tip here. Uh, when you're crafting, um, when you're crafting through the cube, there's only two spears that drop for the Witch Doctor. And uh, literally, just make these Sovereign Spears here. Make about ten of those. Bring them over to the cube. Okay, follow uh, this recipe here, Upgrade Rare Item. And you have a 50-50 chance every, every craft to get a Scrimshaw Spear. And that's how I've got this Ancient One here. Boom, lovely. So, uh, yeah, it's very, very easy, man. It's very, very easy to get the Zombie Charge Spear very, very early on. Same goes for the Cloud staff as well. Okay, so, yep, Scrimshaw Spear. That covers all the bears, the extra DPS. Uh, Mojo you want to use is a Thing of the Deep with Wall of Death damage. And uh, the main thing about this is the Pickup Radius. Our Pickup Radius stuff will increase with GI and Swordland Attunement. So, uh, it, you know, it's picking up all our globes super quickly for Gruesome Feast. It's just, it's just, it is just bis. It is just completely bis to have this in your suit. It makes things so much easier, and it powers you up so much quicker. <laughs> it's like, you just blow shit up. But there, use your sort of status, man. Uh, Invert crit, wall of death damage. Boom, done. And it also always rolls extra maximum mana as well, which helps with the zombie charger. Fucking bears and stuff as well. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, let's go for jewelry. We use, like I said earlier, we're using Bastion's uh, the Bastion's uh, set, man, or which I focus and restraint. Uh, you want CC, CHD, socket, and of course intelligence. Trying to get agent if you can. First gem we're using is Bane of the Trapped. Bane of the Trapped will be procking itself once you get close to the enemies because you are. In, this is a very close melee build. You will be very close to the mobs, but uh, Ward of Death. This will proc it as well because it will apply necrosis from the. From the health suit which will go over to as well. So when you're spamming all this stuff anyway, it's going to proc it anyway, which is great. Also, your bears will proc your bay of the trap. So if, pretty much all your DPS stuff will proc bay of the trap, so it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Excellent. Uh, second gem, uh, sorry, ring, is, uh, of course, the next set part of the set, and we're using Historic Alteration Gem. Okay, my ones are not very high rank at the moment. It's only level 31. But basically, it gives you physical damage reduction, but while you're below half life, your resistance to cold fire, lightning, poison, and arcane increase by 75%. When you couple that with Swampland Attunement, you could become god mode. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. You become extremely tough to kill. It's very, very cool. Lovely. And, um, yeah, the usual man, CC, CHD, Intelligence, and, uh, yeah, Socket. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's start going through the health two pieces now. On the boots, uh, in vit, armor, and all resistance preferably. Um, you want to be as tanky as possible on this build. You want to be super, super tanky. So um, you can take Zombie Charger if you feel that your toughness is high enough so for the extra DPS. But I do recommend if you're doing solo runs that you just take pure tankiness in your suit. Because you'll, you'll, you'll get a lot farther. A lot further. But if you're playing groups, then put Zombie Charger on your boots and your helm. Lovely. On your pants, in vit, armor, the usual sort of stuff, man, double sockets. Try to get secondary resistances that are missed by Swampland Attunement. For instance, there's no arcane here or cold damage, so try to fill those gaps if you can on your secondary on your secondary bits of gear. Lovely. Okay, so uh, health to have gauntlets, man. Uh, I've got in vit, CC, CHD. You can opt for area damage. Area damage is a big deal now in this game because um, it does a lot more damage now. It's just great. But... Um, you do want to be quite tanky in this build, so opt for, I, I suggest you opt for uh, Vitality, unless your gear is really, really sick. Lovely. Uh, health of Shoulders Man, uh, Intervert, Wall of Death Damage. Uh, I do have cooldown reduction here. It should have Area Damage or Life Percent. You can choose between those two. I suggest Life Percent. I'm just waiting for that sweet drop, man, so I can upgrade my shoulders here. Lovely. On your helm. Now, I know it sounds strange. You don't want no crit on your helm. You want Intervert and Life Percent. And make sure you stick a big fat amethyst in there for an extra 23% life. That way we can rock. I'm sitting on 1.2 million hit points right now and 100k shield. So, yeah, it's fantastic. You can like, once again, if you feel that your gear is ultra tanky, anyway, you can opt life percent to zombie charger. That way you can run 15% here and 50% on your boots for an extra 30% zombie charger damage on top. But to be honest, the damage increasement for um, firewall is gonna wreck pretty much anything anyway. But it's up to you, it's up to you. If you can play in groups, put that zombie charger damage on. 
Okay, on the chest plate, man, you want int severe. Once again, a ward of death damage. And uh, on your secondaries, try to get life to after kill and uh, pick up radius. It's all about pick up radius on this build. Lovely. On the belt, you want uh, the belt transcendence. So every time we hit with a mana spender, aka bloody zombie charger, a pronado, that sort of thing like that, um, it will fetish, it will spawn us a fetish psych of them. So it's just you just get a bit of off tanking, so not all the mobs just batter the shit out of you. Okay, so this is a part of your survival DPS in a way. So those extra pets will just guard you a bit, and you won't get hammered. You know, we're super tanky, but we're not gods. Well, not yet. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, Hellfire Amulet, like I said earlier, has got the uh, Confidence Ritual. Uh, you want socket on there, CCCHD, high intelligence, preferably ancient if you can. And the gem we're using this is, is the Molten Wildebeest Gizzard. Once again, this is another gem to keep you alive. Uh, regenerates life based on its rank at 32. He's only doing a 42,000 life per second, which is quite a lot of hit points, to be honest. But more importantly, though, after take, not taking damage after 4 seconds, you gain an absorption shield for 200% of your total life per second. So as you rank this gem up, you're actually going to get a bigger shield. And right now, we've got a little buffer shield of uh, 118k, which is quite nice. You know what I mean? So it does work extremely well, this gem. It's very, very handy. That You would be surprised how much that life per second will save you once you've got this to like level 60 or so. It's a big deal surviving because you can pull it away and watch your hit points go just fly back up again fantastic okay so uh of course key to the build is jaron braces you want fire damage not poison because believe it or not you'll actually do more damage with the ward of death than the actual zombie charger which is crazy i know but just it's just because ward of death stacks because this stacks it just wrecks it just absolutely wrecks that's why we've gone we're opted to fire damage this and of course you want in vitality and crit and all that sort of stuff, man, as well. And uh, try to get one, obviously, with hopefully 100%. Mine's a 98. You know, it's not too bad. But that extra ball of death damage just wrecks. And I've even got two pick up on this, which I was really, really jammy to get, actually. And there you go. That is all the gear. Okay, so the rotation is pretty simple, actually. It's, it, you just, it takes a little bit getting used to. But pretty much, you just uh, cast one spider, then you cast one bear. And that will give you a focus restraint buff. There you go in there, and you harvest them. And also get your armor buff up. Then you drop all your water fucking death. And everything starts cooking. And then you just drop your fucking bears and prana nade and the mobs into your water fire. Okay. It's a little tricky, but once you get used to it, it is pretty cool, man. It is pretty cool. So uh, let's just do a quick rift there. Uh, let's just do just a quick 50. Because my gear isn't amazing, but this build can go up to like rift 69. I mean, good old Mr. Basco, man, live on Twitch, man. He did it on uh, the PTR. And I was like, holy shit, it's incredible, man. <laughs> it's just nuts. And just watch it melt, guys, pretty much. Just watch this melt. It's just nuts. It's just absolutely crazy, man. Love it. Actually, I didn't really talk about the uh, the Croesus effect, did I? Okay, so um, on the health 2 set, man. Enemies hit by your primary skills. Acid Cloud, Fire Bats, Zombie Charger, Zombie Dogs, Gargantuan, Grasp of the Dead, Piranhas, All Water Death are affected by Necrosis. Uh, becoming slowed, so proxy your brain on the traps, uh, taking 1,500 weapon damage every second, and taking 20% increased damage from all sources. So when you hit with your primary stuff, it's already wrecking straight away. It's awesome. Four set, after applying necrosis to enemies, you take 50% damage reduction. So when you snack that with your ostrich reduction here, no gizzard here, plus your passive uh, defensive as well, it's amazing. It makes you super, super tanky. Then six set, this is where the, all the damage comes from. After casting Ward of Death, gain 900% increased damage to all the skills I just described above for uh, 15 seconds, basically. And that's why it does so much damage. Then when you put in a fo uh, you know, focus on restraint as well, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's just absolutely crazy. And... It just wrecks, basically. It just absolutely wrecks. Unfortunately, my gear isn't quite good as Mr. Baskadator, man, but you can already see how tanky it is. And look how toughness looks. 78,000 toughness. The pickup radius from uh, the, G the bloody the frog man is just keeping us up. Remember, you can also position yourself in certain ways, like I said earlier. Like, bears will always just shoot out around you like that. But if you're in a corner, then you shoot away from you. You can funnel that damage into super high DPS. So it's just like how it was on vanilla, man, all those years ago. <laughs> it's very, very cool, man. And we'll also get 15 fetches as well. And uh, it's, it's just awesome. It's just an awesome build. But it's got quite a bit of rotation in there, though. So uh, you'll be... Won't be uh, bored playing this man, there'll be a lot of things you've got to be doing. And you see the damage. 
It's absolutely incredible. Just the damage from Wall of Death alone is crazy. And it will, be, it will tick into the billions of damage, man. Just Wall of Death. Look at that. Oh my god, it's just fucking insane. And it's so tanky. I feel like I can't die half the time. Yeah, we're only doing a little 50, man, just for showing you guys the rotation of the, of, on this vid, man. But I've got up to about, I think, 60, I think, on this one. In my shittiest gear. My gear's okay. It's nothing, you know, amazing or anything, but... That fireball, when it stacks, it just does so much damage. So much damage. 2.5 billion there. Jesus. But that armor buff, man. Oh, it's just so good. Especially with the old firewall, because it reminds me of the old Diablo 1 firewall, man. Those have been like an older game like myself, man. You probably remember the old firewall. And it was just fucking ace, man. Old firewall hype, guys. We've gone back uh, 20 years. <laughs> Oh, well, I've got an elite pack now. This is where we've got Furnace in the cube now. And also COE as well. There we go. Let's just cook this guy here. Unfortunately, he jumped out of my firewall there, but it's going to take a lot of damage. Boom. There we go. Yeah, I forgot to talk what was in my cube, actually. So let me quickly go over to here quickly. Um, in my cube, I have the Furnace for the extra 50% elite damage. We're using the Grim Reaper. As well, so all the mimics uh, will be casting bears and all that sort of stuff as well on top. And then we use the convention of elements with an extra 200% increased elemental damage. So firewall, once basically once firewall's up, drop your firewall if you want to time it. And uh, once uh, the bears, are, once poison's up, drop your bears, that sort of thing. With the Grim Reaper now, it was changed, and it now will cast your um, your other spells much much more, especially acid cloud and zombie charge. It casts it a lot longer. And the Mimics stay out now for about, oh, let me think, man. They normally stay out for about, I think it's about 10, 10 or 12 seconds now. Another change they did for the Grim Reaper Helm as well, that your Mimics will now use your percentage to skills. So all my Wall of Death damage, when my Mimics cast it, will actually use my Wall of Death percentage as well. So Grim Reaper got really, really fucking good, man. Like, really fucking good in the last patch. And it's actually a viable mask now to use. There you go, cheeky shield and pylon. And just charge away. The main thing you've got to make sure is keep you keep up your focus of restraint prop all the time, man. You can already see the elites, man. They're just getting absolutely fucking shrecked by that crazy furnace damage, man, cube. But we're so tanky. So fucking tanky. It's just it's just crazy, man. But like, so like I say, man, the more mobs around you, the higher toughness will go. Look at this, look, see that, look, 126,000 toughness. So pretty much what you want to do, really, is just pull a shit ton of mobs. When you're doing, like, proper great rest, man. We're just doing a test rift here right now, but... It's fucking crazy. And it hits like an absolute fucking truck. Just stack that, what, that firewall, man, on top of those bros. I watch them get fucking smashed. <laughs> We've got so much pickup rage, we're picking up all the globes, we're proccing GI from very far away. It's just a good build. It's just a good solid build. And this is competing right now for top spot for best witch doctor build for this patch. Best witch the best witch doctor builds right now is this one and Khan Drone, which I've already covered. But I will update that video slightly quite soon actually, because I wanna there's a few other tweaks I've put to it now in gear and things like that, I think, which make it a little bit better. Let's, let's try to pull some more mobs, man. So let's, let's, let's try to get a few up. Let's we'll see how high we can get that toughness buff up. Remember, when you're running around, pop your, uh, your heart, soul harvest languish. So you can get it, so you can get it overnight. So look, man, look at this toughness, look. So now I just drop that bloody stuff. And you get, you'll, be, you're hitting, uh, you'll be killing trash so quick, man. GR will be reprocking your uh, prana nado, so you can reposition those bros, like, super, super quick. He just takes so much damage reduction, it's just crazy. It kills so fast. It's it's weird being tanky on a Witch Doctor, but be able to deal incredible damage. Drop them bears, boys. <laughs> oh my god, we're back to vanilla! <sighs> it's a good feeling, man, it's a good feeling. I've literally just started the season as well. Season 4 is now kicked off. Those that don't know, if you're really out of the loop with Diablo. Uh, the patch is now live. We're live, uh, what was it, a day or two ago. 
and uh, the season's now kicked off as well, so I'm aiming to do this build as soon as possible. I'm currently I'm running Acid Cloud, a temporary build, until I get what I want. Those globes, man, those globes. Look, it's just jacking our DPS up so high. But that fireball alone, you can kill so much of it. It's, it's just fucking crazy. Conduit! Nice! When well, you got a conduit shrine, you're using focus on restraint. Make sure you got it up all the time, because it, it just wrecks. Focus restraint will buff that up there. Eh? Well, it used to be last patch, and maybe it doesn't do it anymore, I'm not too sure, but... Still nice to get it. There we go, we've got a nice tasty elite pack here. Yeah? Let's just rip these fuckers out. Ah, suck up a bitch! Boom, they're fucking dead! Fuck! <laughs> ah. It is so much fun. Like I said earlier, you can opt for Slam Dance as well. You can turn off NATO and take out the Furnace and put in SMK if you want to in the cube. But you, you lose a lot of elite damage, but you would gain perma BBV, so it's up to you. Remember, there is a, a, a BBV rune as well now that gives you uh, toughness, man. Gives you damage reduction. I believe it's uh, is it Ghost Trance? I think it's Ghost Trance, isn't it? Gives you uh, damage reduction, man. So that might be an option for hardcore, actually. SMK run Ghost Trance, man. All right, come here, buddy. Right, watch Wall of Death, man. Just wreck her now, look. And the bears as well, like, ah, suck a bear, bitch. So, as you see, without Furnace right now, this might want to take might take a bit longer, but and boom, there you go. Absolutely fucking, it's just savage. It's absolutely savage. It barely, I barely even got lost any life. What's my life at at the moment now? 1.2 million life. It's it's fucking crazy. There we go. I need to upgrade this even more. So as I upgrade these gems more, I'm going to become even stronger, man. You actually see my toughness should go up, shouldn't it? Up? Yeah, I was, I'm still affected by some other stuff at the moment. But uh, yes, it's very, very cool, man. It's a very, very cool build, guys. You've got to try it out. Like I said earlier, this build is competing for number one spot right now for the Witch Doctor for this patch. It's basically this this build here and Khan Drum, which I've already covered on the, on the, on the channel, man. And there you go, guys. Uh, a quick shout out to Baskinator, man, who made this build or made this build popular. Baskinator, thank you very much, man. It is a great, great build. And I just wanted to share it for you guys as well, man. Basco is a cool guy, man. Lovely. Okay, guys, and there you go. As usual, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you've got any comments below, stick them down there or any questions. And I'll see you guys next time. Have fun in the new patch, guys. I'll see you on Twitch. Bye-bye.